Hey guys, Mick Reaps here and welcome back to what is going to be the last of the three bonus content videos for The Witcher 2 Assassins of Kings Enhanced Edition. I'm not sure if you get all of this in the regular edition. Don't own it, so I can't tell you. But we've got a little extras menu, we've already done the witches, uh, the little story telling you what a witcher is and what people think of them. We've done the Demivind assassination, which is just the main intro again. But if you're an intro person, if you're a cinematics person, it's definitely one to watch. Only a couple of minutes and it is it's just great from start to finish, really good. Now we're going to get into the memories and flashbacks. Hopefully this is of my entire playthrough. So we can see just from a cutscene point of view. I think it's just the, the animations, yeah? Yeah, it's just the animations. Um We'll basically get to a story from start to finish in this concise little video, which is Pretty cool actually, um, and I'll probably reference it at the start of the Witcher 3 series that I'll be doing on the 19th of May this year. So if you want to stick around for that, hit that like button, hit subscribe, check out my other games on the channel and I hope you guys enjoy this. Thank you very much for watching, I'll shut my mouth now and see you guys next time. Rivia. Population 1,234. In that, 253 non-humans. September the 25th, 1268. A riot erupts. A massacre ensues. The streets run with the blood of elves and dwarves. One person finds the courage to face the raging crowd. During the rioting, 76 non-humans perished, including the witches Geralt of Rivia. Stabbed in the chest with a pitchfork by a man of whom we know only that his name was Rob, and he owed three crowns at the local tavern. Yennefer of Vengerberg dies trying to heal the witcher. The bodies of Geralt and the sorceress are taken away by a mysterious young girl with ashen hair. Their place of internment remains unknown. I remember. Rivia. Yennefer. Yennefer told me that Ciri has departed for good. She inhabits another world and is happy there. Before she left this one, she gave us the Isle of Avaloch, our island. We stopped counting time. People believe that the wraiths of the Wild Hunt are immortal. They race across the heavens, gripping in their bony hands swords, their lightning bolts. They take away mortals, ever expanding their cavalcade of spectral riders. They burned the orchard and the house. In their armored boots, they trampled our island. September 13th, 1269, the Ravine of the Hydra. Following the peace of Sintra, 53 officers of the Vryhead Brigade were brought here and executed, their throats cut. The elves' bodies were dropped into the chasm. I don't know what the riders of the hunt were looking for. November 23rd, 1269, Sintra, the village of Coldwater, and another victim of the hunt. An 11-year-old boy, his parents didn't even ask if he had a chance. I'm tired. February 24th, 1270, the high pass in the Armouche Mountains. An Imperial Manticore, one of the world's oldest and deadliest monsters. I used to feel excitement at moments like this. Now the beast is only an obstacle on my way. Its meat and hot blood will help me survive this icy hell. May 30th, 1270, the Ruga River. The hunt continues to race south. Since I've been following them, they've taken 23 individuals all between the ages of 10 and 20. All except for Yennefer.
July 25th, 1270. The forests of Angren. No mighty mortal, no heap of meat or strong man can parry the strike of the slizzard's tail. Letho couldn't either, but by some miracle he survived. I helped him. After all, witchers on the path should help each other. He had two comrades, brother witchers from the school of the Viper. The hunt continued south, and Letho of Gullet knew where it was going. He knew where the hellish chase would end. Winter Solstice 1270. Middenvern, the Night of Magic. Letho wasn't lying, the hunt had stopped. At the Hanged Man's Tree, the spectral riders selected from among those they had taken. Yennefer was among them. A wraith cannot be killed, only driven away. Every Witcher knows that. Yet the riders fell beneath the blows of our Witcher's blades. Crimson blood flowed from under their dead men's armor. We could not kill them all. They were simply too many. A stalemate. He was different from all other elves. There was no shame in his gaze. He had never suffered persecution. He had endured no massacres. Humans had not taken his land. This elf was not of this world. He was an invader. We struck a deal. My soul for that of Yennefer. He agreed without hesitation. Honor's a curious thing. Honor made Arian fight a mismatched battle against the might of Temeria. Facing defeat, Honor told Arian to bow his neck to save his men. But that same honor prevented him from saving himself. Roach had murder in his eyes. He wanted blood and couldn't care less that it was royal, that this was what Letho would have wanted. The death of a king is the triumph of chaos, civil war, famine, fear among common folk, a time of disdain. That is the only reason Henselt remains alive and Kedwen grows stronger. Thousands of Kedwenis live better lives because their ruler is an amoral, ruthless son of a bitch who stands above the law. Terrorists, murderers, a death squad. Or freedom fighters in an uneven battle, noble in their suffering. It all depends on your point of view. I helped Jorvik. I gave him my trust. I joined Saskia and took the side of the rebels, their new values and ideals. Time will tell if I was right. One thing is sure. Elves are the best archers who have ever walked this earth. Prince Stennis. A poisoner, coward, and schemer. He trembled with disgust when he spoke to the peasants. Disdain flowed from him like vomit. But he didn't deserve to be lynched. That was not the justice Saskia fought for. Prince Stennis I, son of Demavend III, became the 17th King of Edirne. He won the hearts of the people. They saw him as the hope of the nation. The realm, ravaged by war, needed a ruler sensitive to the plight of his subjects. King Stennis I was just that. Eseth Mahon, tal este impedon, el rinneth Eleorian, feredain Mahon, halt 
Daumas. Roach had murder in his eyes. He wanted blood and couldn't care less that it was royal, that this was what Letho would have wanted. The death of a king is the triumph of chaos, civil war, famine, fear among common folk, a time of disdain. That is the only reason Henselt remains alive and Kedwen grows stronger. Thousands of Kedwenis live better lives because their ruler is an amoral, ruthless son of a bitch who stands above the law. Okay, so that's all of the all of the animated cutscenes within the game that I discovered anyway. There's a couple in there that I can't well, there's one in there in particular that I can't remember seeing, and that's the King Henselt Survives one. Um I can't even think of the context for that cutscene. Cause at the start of it it says something about Roach's um he wants blood, he doesn't care that it's royal blood. Was that after the fight where the Temerians tried to kill me? And Hensel had put them up to it? I'm not sure. But I, I can't remember seeing that cutscene at all in any way. So I don't know if that's it's just glitched out and I shouldn't really have that one. The other one that's quite confusing is... Well, there's two. Stennis. Like, we, we obviously let him live. We didn't send him to the, the gallows or anything. But what I don't understand is how he won the hearts of the people. Like, I'd, I'd like that story to be built upon, hopefully. I mean, he's a king now, right? He's, he's a ruler, so... Maybe in the Witcher 3 we'll learn more about how he actually converted people from the the angry mob that hated him, wanted him dead, to being his loyal subjects. It's kinda crazy. And then Yorveth's dream as well, I don't really understand that one. I mean is, is that just what he wanted? He wanted an ace home with plenty of food, not having to run, not having to fight, he just wanted to settle down. Yeah, like that's what he wanted most inwardly. But on on the outside, it was this freedom, we don't need anything, we don't need any, anyone. Um, I'm not sure, I'm not sure how to take that dream. But, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Chip in if, if there's any of those that you want to provide more context to, that would be great. Um, if there's ones that you particularly like or you don't like, let me know down in the comments. But that will do it for The Witcher 2. Thank you very much for watching guys. I've done this because I don't really want the game to come to an end. I was having such such a good time. The epilogue was really short. In fact all of chapter 3 was pretty short but I'm glad they didn't drag it out any longer if that makes sense. Disappointed that it was short but happy that it never got dragged on any longer. Yep. Yeah. It's kind of where I stand with that one because the story that they told within it was fantastic. And it was just like this big big build up all the way through chapter 2 and then this massive climax where everything came together and you've still got these little loose strings. Like the the hunt videos are really good like seeing them seeing them in those sequences. Um going from where we got pitchforked, I still don't know how how we survived that or how we came back. Um, to Yennefer then getting taken by the hunt and us chasing the hunt down. That was super cool. Super cool. I might watch that first one again. Obviously not with you guys, but I might watch the first one again and see if it's after I gave my soul to the hunt. Because maybe we're immortal now. That would be pretty impressive. Is it the wild hunt that brought us back? Did they... I'm not... We're not really sure. But I'm pretty sure we'll find out in The Witcher 3. So, again, I will be playing The Witcher 3. I love it. I love The Witcher series. I'm going to start reading the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the journey as much as I did. And if not, there's plenty more content on the channel. I play a variety of things. 
and one of those might be to your liking so hit that subscribe button hit the like button share the channel with your friends you're the driving force behind the channel ultimately i'm going to play games that i enjoy playing but i am i am open to suggestions i'll give it a go i'll do a video of it see how we get on and yeah you you might tip me off to the next the next um let's play on the channel so get involved guys and i hope to hear from you soon Thanks and bye-bye.